Hey everybody, welcome to Abundant Source Raw on YouTube. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, alternative medicine, energy healing, and uh, just any other alternative forms of healing, um, you know, how they work, and should we be using these alternative forms. And uh, the first thing I'll say that should be obvious is that these different alternative forms of healing are a much more natural way and a healthier way to help people with their pain and different sufferings uh, over, you know, pharmaceutical drugs or any type of chemical, uh, you know, substances that are just going to take away the symptoms and uh, really harm your body even more. These are more of a natural healing, um, although I don't know if I would really call them natural, but I think most people have different <laughs> uh, definitions of natural. Um, and the reason I say that is in the end, uh, it, my take on all of this alternative type of healing work is that it's still just more or less a band-aid. Um, you know, obviously it's not going to have the implications that pharmaceutical drugs are going to have with the crazy side effects and uh, just the obvious bad uh, harmful chemicals and synthetics that are going to harm your body. But when it comes to, uh, I was going to specifically talk about like energy healing. Um, but this, this also has to do with alternative uh, types of healing that don't just have to do with, um, you know, energy per se. But because uh, I am actually a level two practitioner of Reiki, uh, which is a type of energy healing, and I haven't actually practiced Reiki in over a year. And the more I learn uh, about just spirituality, uh, becoming one with the source, and raw foods, and just real healing, cause and effect, that type of thing, the more I get away from these types of alternative sources, because what these are doing, well, first I'll, I'll talk about how they really work. Um, I've said in my other videos, you know, we are life itself. We're all one. Um, there is no individuality. Uh, we just have this illusion of individuality because we've developed an ego which um, has made us feel separate and our ego wants to feel important and uh, it wants you to recognize it as an individual because that's basically what makes it feel safe. And um, But in reality, we're not our ego, we're not this body, we're not this mind, we're not our thoughts. Uh, we are life itself, we are the life force energy that creates all of life or manipulates life. Uh, these bodies are just a sort of a tool and a vessel, so a, a catalyst that life can flow through um, and be sort of manipulated and utilized by the life force energy. And so when you're using these, uh, ener these healing energies, you are tapping in, you know, once you learn this stuff, you can tap in to your true essence uh, of total life force energy. You can get concentrated and uh, you can, once you're tapped in and you have a uh, connection with the energies of life, then you can start to manipulate the life force energies around you and um, once you're tapped in, then you can even manipulate the energies of other people's bodies. And so you just have to, uh, you know, be in the flow. And, you know, these energy healers, they know how to tap in um, and be conscious and aware and really focus on healing you. And I don't want to downgrade any healing practitioners. Uh, what they're doing for people is really helping with their pain and suffering. Uh, it's a great way to 
you know, unblock energy, unblock, you know, uh, blocked up, pent up energy and release different emotions and uh, help to clean the chakras and get your energies sort of balanced. But what happens here is we're just treating the symptom again, just like sort of like pharmaceuticals, not on the same scale as pharmaceuticals, but we're still just treating the symptom. And this is why the art is great, but you have to understand what's going on. Why do these people need uh, these healings? Why do people need um, alternative medicines, uh, naturopathic medicines, uh, homeopathic medicines? Why do people need uh, Reiki and uh, what am I thinking of? Acupuncture. Uh, so you want to address the root cause and just like with our food and with uh, drugs and things like that you know obviously if you've got symptoms if you've got a cold if you've got the flu if you've got anything cancer it's supposed to be there you know it's a warning it's telling you that something you're doing is not right you need to change what you're doing uh, and that's why you know people who go and do chemotherapy and who get you know tumors surgically removed that's just temporary I mean most of these people are gonna be uh, in the hospital within the next few years because they didn't change anything all they did was basically synthetically remove the problem and they didn't change the cause uh, the cause is their lifestyle is not natural. They're not eating the foods they're supposed to be eating. Um, they're not uh, in alignment with their biorhythms. They're not getting enough sleep and they're not sleeping at the right times. They're not exercising enough. They're not getting enough sunlight. They're not hydrated. Um, and, and these are the root causes. Uh, people are just not living in alignment with na nature's laws and once you break out of nature's laws then you're going to become sick and you're going you know problems are gonna happen and so when you're giving these uh, healings to people you got to understand that or you've got to really let them know that they need to change what they're doing they don't you don't want them to rely on these healings for the rest of their life because it's it's like taking a, a pharmaceutical drug you know it it makes people think that they can continue to do what they're doing and say oh well you know I get Reiki every week um, and they feel good once a week after doing whatever therapeutic or healing art that you've done for them uh, they might feel great and then that makes them think that they can continue their lifestyle. Uh, it makes them go back to what the cause was that's really harming them. And we, the, the, and honestly, if they're doing something wrong, if they're not complying with nature's laws, then they are supposed to be suffering. I mean, well, I hate to put it that way, but <laughs> um, you know, it's like. It's like uh, taking your car to a mechanic and it says, you know, the engine lights on and you say, uh, yeah, I, I need to get this fixed. And you said, okay, uh, come back in an hour, I'll have it fixed. And all he does is uh, cuts the wires that relay the, the, the signal saying check engine. He didn't actually solve the problem. He, he didn't solve the root issue. All he did was uh, cut the symptom and now, oh, hey, look. Uh, no more check engine light, you're all good, but all he did was cut the wires and he didn't actually do anything. That's basically what we're doing here is uh, we are helping them with the symptoms but not removing the actual cause. And these pains and uh, you know these discomforts that we're feeling, it's, it's a sign and we need to be aware of these. We don't want to suppress these in any way. Um, we need them to because they're telling us we need to correct something if you're correcting these things for people then they're never gonna change what they're doing and so you if you are gonna help heal people in this way 
you I think it would be wise to let people know that you'll help them out but uh, you've got to figure out what the root cause is and you need to really uh, more focus on that uh, see instead of everybody focusing on these alternative medicines and healings it would be better in my opinion I mean we'll need we'll still need these things for a long time because people are still sick and they don't know what the problem is but we're we're almost causing even more of a problem by just giving them a band-aid and letting them think they can continue with what they're doing we need to solve the root problem and uh, we need people to feel this pain and this warning that lets them know they need to correct something so do the healing work if you want to get them out of the pain and suffering but find out what the root cause is and let them know that they need to find a way to stop with the root cause and even a lot of like yogis gurus and masters of energy they'll most I mean pretty much all of them will tell you that messing with somebody else's energies is pretty much juvenile because you're for the, for the same reason you know these things are warnings people need these uh, pains to wake up to what they're doing and you know a, a complete master of energy and enlightenment can manipulate somebody else's energies and they can put them into an enlightened state like that uh, uh, like an out-of-body complete oneness they can do this but they never would because you you wouldn't be ready for it I mean they know that you need to awaken on your own because once you come out of this enlightened state you'll you won't know how to get back there um, and it just wouldn't be wise to put somebody in a state like that uh, before they're ready and you're kinda of doing the same thing with these energy healings you're manipulating somebody else's energy and they I mean they really aren't ready to be healed by these energies they need to figure out the root cause I would say if you're gonna help them figure out the root cause then you can do some alternative healing to help them through the journey and help them relieve them of some pain and suffering while they're finding out how to get rid of the cause of the problem but if you're just seeing someone every few days or every week and tell them or making them think that they can continue to do what they're doing and just come see you every week I don't believe that that's the right thing to do in the end uh, it's actually keeping more people suppressed than uplifted it it keeps them down uh, even though you know I know you, all you healers are doing what you think is best and you know I t I did Reiki for a while too and I was all into the alternative medicine and the alternative healing and I thought it was great you know I thought I was helping people and you are helping people through pain and suffering but it's uh, in the end they're not waking up and they're not realizing what the root cause is because um, you keep putting a band-aid on their symptoms and uh, they think it's okay to continue what they're doing because they can just just like popping a pill to stop the pain they can just come to you and uh, get realigned for a little bit and then go back to their crappy habits and so we've got to figure out what their habits are and we've got to change the root cause and probably the biggest root cause for just about everyone is that they're not eating the right diet our species specific diet is fruitarian we're frugivores just like our anthropod relatives um, we have the same anatomy I mean the closest anatomy uh, biology and physiology to the great apes and uh, we should be eating what they're eating not what these carnivores are eating or omnivores or herbivores we're frugivores and uh, people just don't know this and so that's why you know me and others make these channels to educate and show people that there's something better uh, there's a way to get reconnected to the source to the oneness to everybody and all living things and um, that's what 
a raw vegan diet, specifically a fruitarian diet, can do for you. Um, people just don't know what they're missing. You, you just can't comprehend what this diet can do for you because you've never you've been sick your whole life most likely and you don't even know it and uh, most people think that they're eating healthy and it's just a lot of bogus that's been bombarded on them since childbirth uh, all these different references and all these different um, you know the media and these big corporations with their marketing and so people just don't know and we've got to spread this word try it out um, you know Buy out the raw vegan diet or go on a juice fast. It's a lot easier for a lot of people to just do, uh, you know, like a 30-day at least juice fast. And you'll see, you'll, you will wake up so fast and you will feel so connected. And um, things are gonna, things are gonna happen for you that you never even thought possible. Things like this are the root problem. We're not eating what we're supposed to be eating. We're not in line with our biorhythms. We're not getting the sunshine that we need. We are beings of light. It's, I mean, it's not even some kind of uh, woo-woo stuff anymore. Scientifically proven uh, research biophotons. We are uh, beings of light, and we need the sunshine. We need proper exercise. We need proper sleep. We need proper nutrition. And these are the types of things that are going to fix our problems, not... The healing and the the alternative medicines although they're great and they're a step way above you know the rest of the medical uh, institutions they're still just a band-aid and if everybody was eating their species specific diet if everybody would just clean up what they're doing then we would not I'm sure there'll probably always be a place for alternative medicines and healing uh, for you know when things happen outside of our control and we really need it but for the most part uh, it would be unnecessary and people's everyday life if they just followed the laws of nature uh, ate what they're supposed to eat and and really get connected from the food and uh, the meditation and things like that all right well thank you guys so much for watching and uh, Give me a thumbs up if you liked uh, this video, and subscribe if you enjoy the content I put out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.